Tyler Matzik, World Series champion, postseason hero. Has it hit you yet that you are a World Series champion? Uh, I mean, yeah, it did. It hit me at the at the parade. That's yeah. when it was like, wow, this is amazing. We gave the city something that they they really wanted. You know, I, I know you guys talk about nutrition, and I'm an in, former infielder. I want to eat healthy. Yeah, it's the same way with uh, you pitchers. Uh, yeah, we stayed somewhat healthy. I mean, I think uh, you know a little less strict. I think for us uh, us pitchers, but um, you can get away with a little bit. Get away with a little bit. You know, we're out. We're not playing every day usually, but thank you. Do you want anything? You no, good? I'm good here. Okay. Yeah. I just want to have lunch, talk a little baseball too, if that's all good with you. Absolutely, let's do it. Let me grab what I'm gonna eat. Let's go talk. I want to go back to the World Series uh, run and look at the NLCS. I think everybody remembers this moment. Game six, second and third, nobody out, you come in, punch out the side. Yeah. Do you remember that vividly? And do you think about that often? And what was going through your mind as it was happening? Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously I remember that. That was a, a great moment in my life. And um, yeah, I just, I saw, I was warming up in the pen and I saw Luke I was kind of getting in trouble. And, um, you know, being the brotherhood that we have down there, I wanted to go in there and save him. And uh, I got the opportunity to go in there and, and my goal was to just get the first guy out. You get the first out, opens up a, a whole different, you know, ball game for us. We can walk a guy, we can go for a double play kind of thing. But I was able to get the first strike out, and then I was like, man, I'm feeling pretty good, so let's go. And uh, got ahead in the second second guy and uh, got a second strike out. And I'm like, all right, we'll stop. Why stop there? Let's keep going. <laughs> and um, Travis putting down the right numbers, and we just got after it. And uh, as I'm walking off the mound, I kind of black out, and I'm just like, wow, I can't believe that happened. I mean, I'm all pumped up and then I'm sitting there as I'm coming in the dugout I'm going it's only the seventh inning I'm probably gonna have to go pitch the next inning I need to calm down a little bit and not waste all my energy so um had to calm down and then went back out there and uh, had a good clean eight in the bullpen as a whole we talk about them I continue to talk about them the night shift talk to me about the night shift how did that come up I know Luke's taking credit for it we've talked about that a ton um but it's a pretty cool just group of guys that are fighting for the same goals yeah Luke takes credit for everything, so that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Where it came from, I have no idea. We've been all been talking like, hey, who came up with it? We're trying to figure it out. People, plenty of you guys have been asking, and we have no idea. And we're just going with, all right, I guess Luke did it, you know what I mean? But we don't want to give him credit for it. Uh, the whole group down there is, like I guess say, man, it's a brotherhood. We all love each other. We text each other daily, hang out with each other. We love going to dinners, love just being around each other. Um, and when you can build that love in a bullpen like that, it, it kind of spreads throughout the rest of the team and a lot of good things happen from that, including a lot of winning. I tell you what, you've been phenomenal. I expect more greatness out of all of you guys uh, because the expectations are high again. Uh, but we thank you for your time and um, you know, it's a pleasure talking baseball. Awesome, thank you. I'm gonna dive into these things now. <laughs>